Previously on Shriek or Chic. Ready to see your workstations? This is like my dream come true. <gasps> so here's my design for the Martha Stewart costume. I wouldn't do anything too tight. I don't really like when people <laughs> look at my design. How does your first day feel? I didn't feel like I had accomplished anything. Now you can panic. Halloween is an incredibly popular holiday. And from a business point of view, this is a big statement. We are the leaders when it comes to holidays. What I think might be the biggest challenge for all three of them is understanding the big picture because it's not just what's going to make for a memorable costume. It's also, you know, what's going to make for a memorable brand statement. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm pattern making the bodice right now. The whole uh, wow factor in the costume is in the bodice and the collar. It'll resemble the petals of an orchid. And then Martha Stewart's face will just be popping up saying, hello, son. I'm gonna do an Elizabethan collar and give her a sea goddess crown with like pearls. My vision for the costume, it's nothing specific. It's just a feeling. I'm like going towards like ice princess. I think of how I'm gonna use the fabric, what lines. The other girls are, you know, pattern making and like getting their designs together. But like until I have my fabrics, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay guys, you have $500 to go to the fabric store and have some fun. I'm so excited to see what you come back with and I'll see you guys soon. The fabric inspires the costume. Do you guys carry horse hair? Maximum I want to spend is about $10 a yard for chiffon. I'm looking at buying about 20 yards of chiffon today. Right now I plan on painting my fabric, so I'm looking for like a base, so probably like a crepe white or cream satin. Oh my god, imagine I put Martha in this. Well, I don't need stretch for the petals. I just need stretch for the bias. I didn't really take Kate's advice. I'm already kind of risking it, doing a more tighted fitted bodice. So I really have to be conscious of a comfortable uh, fabric. It's all my silvers. That's my favorite part, feeling all the beautiful like chiffons and organza. You know, cashier hands you the fabric and there you go. We feel good to get off our feet. I'm so tired. <laughs> so I chose a lot of white just because I do plan on making my own textiles. <gasps> sparkles! I know. Am I gonna of make a costume without sparkle? <laughs> Who doesn't need a little sparkle in life? There are gonna be sequins everywhere. Of course. <laughs> I brought my friend, fashion designer Erin Featherston. Erin debuted her first collection in 2005 at the Paris Haute Couture Shows. And since then, she's won a ton of awards and she was inducted into the CFDA in 2009. So I thought it would be great for her to give you some insight on your costumes. Everything always comes down to execution when it comes to matters of design. Talk me through your costume and what you have planned. My inspiration is an orchid. I don't know if you can tell. And I found out it's actually one of her favorite flowers. And I was like, so this has to be meant to be. And I think I'm going to paint the petals of the costume to have kind of uh, reference that kind of splattered look of the orchid. I think the whole idea of the orchid is a, is, a, is a beautiful concept for the costume. How it executes depends on her ability to paint her fabrics. So tell me, what's going on here? I'm working on my collar right now and it won't stand up. It looks like a fish fin. I liked Gabrielle's sea queen concept. I've noticed within the clothes that she wears, she likes things that are a little looser and a little drapier. So I wanted to encapsulate that. I think that you're very astute in taking into consideration silhouettes that she tends towards. I would encourage you to consider simplifying because if you really have this much fabric, it's just gonna become bulky. Bulky, okay. I had some concern about the overall silhouette, if that'll be a silhouette that Martha will gravitate towards. So Joelle, who had kind of the crystal ice princess concept, I think that she had some very beautiful imagery on her mood board. I love texture. I'm really into detail. So when I'm creating my garment, I kind of just like figure it out as I go. She wasn't able to kind of walk me through her design as well as the other girls. This fabric speaks to me. 
So I kind of just do whatever the fabric wants to do. I just didn't really get a very clear sense of the actual design and silhouette. All three seem very ambitious in what they intend to construct. So um, I hope that they're ready to pull some late nights.